This had a two-story home built by shipping containers. But I just saw the video about the nigga making this shit, bro. I didn't react to it, but I saw it. He was, he was like, he was totally the cost of it. I have it in my history, if I think. But like, I just saw the video. It wasn't her. I don't know who she is, but. But I, oh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me find it, bro. Uh, guys. This nigga, bro. It was Here it is, nigga. the video that. The, who the fuck is this bitch? Welcome to the Pacific Bin, okay, a two story no home mind. made from five no shipping mind. containers. Okay, no this is Devin, the, the owner bio. and the builder of the home. Over the past year, he has been building this home from scratch, mostly by himself. And we're going to talk to him today about how to build a shipping you know, container house building yourself a house? and get no, a tour just, of this unique no, property. Fun, hey, bro. I'm Devin, and welcome to my shipping container home named my the Pacific Bin. Come on in. But this shit look nice though. Look at this shit, bro. Like imagine so you had a house like this. Was imagine you had a house that you know, Scandinavian design that you designed before I even bought property or anything. I knew I wanted it to be like tucked away in the forest, just with all Washington's mob. Nah, be tucked away in the forest, bro. You bug it. Like I would never, ever, ever, ever want that. You feel me? But you know, niggas, niggas do what they want to do. Like. See trees and just looking like you just dropped this super modern Scandinavian home in the middle of the forest. Okay, so this view is actually my favorite view of the entire home right yeah, here. Um, just Blake. yesterday we wrapped up these stairs. We still have a little bit more to do down there. There's almost a thousand like, square feet. I don't like the glass doors or the glass, you know what I'm saying, paint, whatever. Like, I only really fuck with it. Like, with no curtains either. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really trust the forest. Niggas be bugging. Feet of deck space with the home. So we really just wanted to tie in the outdoors yeah, and really? just make you feel yeah, as like really. tucked away while still being able to experience it, nature. I first stopped by the Pacific like Bin when it was about halfway finished during the summer. Take a little tour. Let's take a look. I'm so, sorry. yeah, like I was saying, it's a 1600 square foot home. Uh, it's built out of five shipping containers. This is, this is okay. the first container, so it's, it's offset and this will be where the kitchen is. So I'm going for like a very just minimalist, like matte black kitchen. The, this will be the dining Can you wait? Ooh, I was, again. I was, gonna, I was gonna ask a dumb ass question, but I was like, I was gonna say, like, I've seen a lot of people when they build their own house, they help, they help out with building it. Like they be, they be with the construction company helping out building and, and you know, drilling shit and all that. But like, if you're making your own house, you don't have to help out the company, the the the, no, the construction company, right? Cause I think so. Dining room will have like just some built-in. There's every, all everything. sorts of structural elements. Like a lot of it's hidden yeah. in the walls. There was almost. $25,000 in steel, structural steel that went into this. Between his day job as an engineer and this build, Devin was working nice 100 hours we'll that nigga to get this done. Feet. Typically get up around 4.30 in the morning, get to work by 5 I like, I like waking and up. I like waking clock up. a 10 hour day, so I'm out of work by 3. Out here till, gosh, like 10 or 11. Um, now, the last couple months, I've actually been able to stay out here <laughs> since we have heat and running water and everything. So that's made it a little bit better. Yeah, it would just be just endless, endless days out here, not really seeing my friends. And um, so I'm really excited for this next year to just be able to relax a bit, <laughs> get the money flowing the other way. From framing to insulation to actually laying down the shipping containers, he was able to save a lot on costs by taking a DIY approach. I wouldn't have been able to afford it <laughs> otherwise. Growing up, my family had always been big on like do it yourself or would do a lot of like home rehab stuff. It's been a big like do it yourself family and you just, you just break things down into all the little steps. It's, you can figure it out. Plus uh, but YouTube, he bought it. Most he of the lot. experience was either like welding wise. I worked as a welder back in high school to keep me out of trouble. <laughs> I never thought that would pay off. And then here we are. <laughs> <laughs> the work definitely paid off. What once was a few framed out containers is now a really cozy home. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's take a tour. But when no you enter to your right, though. you have a hallway with a powder room at the end with a really nice Scandinavian design. As you enter the home, you enter pretty much straight into 
into the kitchen here. So with this Airbnb, we're able to house seven people yeah, here. So we really rig, went right? for just a, a really massive kitchen. So yeah, we've got a nice like panel rig, ready refrigerator. Though. So it just blends I, right I, in I with all the cabinets, it. all sorts of little yeah, but, trinkets no, on the shelves, little custom made coffee yeah, mugs. The goal is Scandinavian with the home. I like have been hooked on Nordic designs. So I figured this would fit perfect into like the mossy woods of Washington. So working our way out of the kitchen, you go pretty much right into the dining room here. So this is a custom walnut table we had built in Florida and uh, we just got it a couple weeks ago and I love how it looked. It was one fallen tree like slab of walnut. We cut it in half, split it down the middle and then filled the whole middle. It's called rivering with resin. I just love how it, it turned out. And then we got these awesome seatbelt chairs. So these chairs are actually made from seatbelts seat and have just this like really cool design and they're actually pretty comfy. So working uh, our way the into point? the living room here uh, on rainy days and cold days, everyone will be spending most of their time. Well, I'm telling you, Bo, I'm telling you, Imagine watching a scary movie at night in, in this living room. That shit would be a fucking vibe, gang. Like, for real. It's staying here. So we It'll have just a massive love sack couch and easily see nine or shit. 10 people. This is the, but, the fireplace. Uh, so it's a gas fireplace. Fire. So guests will not be able to use this wood for it. And I've actually screwed them all together so that no one can take these and go burn them outside or something in the fire pit. With the home being an Airbnb, I wanted to have as many like maintenance pieces or like potential hazards um, designed out of it. So that's why we went with the gas fireplace. Now let's head upstairs. Good thing you don't have a gas fireplace. It's a good thing. So this is the second floor of the bin and there's two containers pretty much perpendicular to the three containers downstairs. Mm -hmm. Upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. We got a little laundry room here with stackable washer dryer, um, just so if guests go skiing and they need to the go do a load of laundry yeah, after a cold day out of the slopes, the washer and dryer is right. right by all the bedrooms. Okay, so this is the first of three bedrooms. With the home being an Airbnb, we wanna be able to sleep as many people as possible. So you'll be able to sleep three people in here, two on the full, one on the twin. And then one of my favorite bits about uh, the Pacific Bin is that every bedroom just has beautiful forested views. This corner cool, bedroom, cool you can actually see like... off to where we're gonna have the helicopter pad. So this is just the second bedroom. Fuck you mean helicopter pad? <laughs> what? Helicopter pad? What are you talking about, man? They go, what? Why you need a helicopter pad? You gonna get a helicopter? You know how much money that is? Nigga, bro. Nigga, think this shit is GTA Online? Like, what the fuck? Um, Hello, th they're bro. fairly small. We nah. figured you really didn't need too much nah. space. That's crazy. Um, Cause the only time you're really gonna be in here is when you're sleeping. And the best part is you wake up and you have a beautiful view of the forest. <laughs> And then heading down the hall is the main bathroom and bedroom. This this is my favorite view. I've, I've spent a handful of nights here already no and waking up crazy, to the though. forest like this is just awesome. When we were going through the drafting phase like a year ago, so paranoid, I, just, I knew I wanted this like fishbowl-esque vibe to this bedroom and that's like totally what we've achieved here. So with this container home, we really wanted to go all out on the luxury side of things here. So we went all out with heated floors here, um, just huge double sink here. The shower here is actually a steam shower. But yeah, you just hit this little button here and this whole room just heats up and it's just like, it's a total spa experience. The second level also has a really large balcony. So it's really cool, it gives you a great like, how close view is it to of the forest, just being able to get up here, and yeah, we're still waiting on railings uh, for the. Civilian, civilization, civilization, civilization. Yo, yo, what's good with me today, bro? I don't know how to speak. Civilization, civilization, civilization. Yeah, civilization. Civilization, I'm bugging, bro. Uh, yo. For the most part, yeah, this is just, it's gonna be a really, really peaceful place to hang out and just enjoy time with friends. So it's a pretty spectacular home if you ask me. And Devin shared some of the numbers with me on this build. So I budgeted 
right around 525 to 550. I'm ending up closer it to really six it. right so now. Really the part that I didn't take into account was all of the furniture. So I had really some money budgeted it. for furniture, but I did not actually realize how crazy expensive some of this stuff is. So I'm gonna end up right around $600,000. Six, so really um, and that includes the land. Civilization. So about 350 for the bill and 150 for the What land. am I going on about, right bro? I don't know. $300,000 for the structure. And oh, how much it cost? About 350, 350 for the build Thousand. and 150 right. for the Damn. land. I was right around $200,000, $300,000 for the structure and all the steel and like all the trades doing their works in here. You got $100,000 in furnishings in here That's and a then lot the of other fucking $250,000, money, $300,000 is all in the buying the containers for $5,000. The insulation, which is another 28 um, drywall is another seven or eight and yeah, it just adds up really quick. I went with a real hickory floor. All the materials to install it were $16,000, I believe right right around there. So there's a powder room, Yo, if I get uh, a full rich, bathroom, I'm and then the kitchen we and I'm building me a fucking house right around my there. I'm, I'm, um, and I'm building me one of them Liverpool buses too. You can drive around, you have an extra state, you know what I'm saying? Like the one I saw in the other video. Did all the labor I'm, myself. I'm, Pretty much I'm been I'm getting one of those. doing as that much of this as fire. I could. All the structural steel, all the framing, flooring, paint, all of it, just to really cut down on all those labor costs. How much do you think this build would have been if you hired out everything? I think it easily would have been a million dollars. There's a lot of Damn. intricacies with building this specific home, like the fact that you can't just frame the whole thing out in one shot and uh -huh. placing it in the middle of the forest makes it that much more challenging. You yeah. can't get contractors in here as easily. If they have large semis with deliveries, you have to like pack it in down the driveway. Uh, but there's just land, a lot of land, interesting components about idea, the, the build itself and the location that just made it tricky. And I lot. think you yeah. easily could have been in a million dollars, but yeah, it's cool. The home will value in right around a million dollars. I was talking to my real estate agent uh, a couple weeks ago and she's saying that sounds about right for your location and everything. How the fuck you get on the roof? So this is not a trust fund build for sure. <laughs> right as I got out of school in Michigan, I moved, moved to Seattle and worked for three years as a full-time engineer and pretty much a full-time cinematographer. I would just do a lot of brand shoots and weddings and just save all the money I made filming and working and just like live as minimalist as the lifestyle as possible. Okay. Also while investing every yeah, penny yeah, I had in the Tesla stock. <laughs> Um, which Definitely. also played a huge part in this yeah. build. Which is risky, but dang good pay yeah. yeah, I figure, well, you're young, take risk. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, three years ago, I put like my life savings into Tesla, and then I've just saved as much as I've made over the last three years to really be able to finance this thing. I put about 150 of my off, own money into it um, that I had saved up and then the rest is on a private line of credit at a 5% interest rate. I'm very blessed to have okay. locked that rate in a couple of years ago. That's how it's financed, so hopefully we can pay this thing down quick. <laughs> and now the bin is available for bookings, so I think that should be no problem for this thing to make money. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Devin actually has his own YouTube channel with much- That, that ain't his house? <laughs> that ain't his house? Okay, like, what the fuck? And now the bin is available for bookings, so I think that- What is it, Airbnb or something? Like that, that's not his house though. No, he just built that shit because he wanted to do like an Airbnb, get money off of it. Which is cool and all, but like, damn, bro, that would be a fire house, bro. That would be a lot. But I, I see, I see why you wouldn't want that to be your quote unquote house. That could be like a, like some type of, um, date or something like, a home, like, uh, what do you call it? Honeymoon. This is your be your house, you say, not a house, but you know, say whatever that it'll be. Go on like a vacation over here, do your own thing. That would be fire, I guess. But damn, he did it. They know with this, bro. Like, out of shipping containers, bro. He 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 bodied, bro. He bodied for real.